As a teacher educator, what I'm really aware of is the actual impact and reach that we can have. And that's why we really have to be courageous in the type of learning experiences we design for our students here. My name is Deirdre Butler and I work here as a lecturer in Dublin City University, the Institute of Education. And my primary role is looking after digital learning. The Bachelor of Education program is a four-year degree program for primary school teachers. So in their fourth year, we designed a special module around game-based learning and all 400 of those students engage with that module. So they get an understanding of what game-based learning is, how you can connect it to the classroom, and involved in that module, of course, is Minecraft, because it's the biggest sandbox game in the world. And that's the point of this room you're in here. It's an immersive learning experience. The difference the room here has made and the Minecraft studio is the fact that students' understanding of learning is completely challenged. We don't want them going in and actually designing learning experiences for students that they actually experience themselves. They need to be different. We're in a different world. It's complex, it's connected. We have huge problems to solve. Our kids need to be creative, complex problem solvers. They need resilience. They need to be able to think on the spot. They need to be able to collaborate and communicate. They're not limited by the world they're in they're only limited by their imagination because the sandbox game means you can do anything in it. So they can actually capitalize on it and use it for any subject they like. So it definitely helped me to develop computational thinking skills. And these are skills that are not just isolated set of skills. They can be used across an array of subjects. 85% of our students are female. And of course, the research demonstrates that um, by and large, female students do not engage with gaming. If they go into the school situation and haven't experienced what game-based learning is about, then they won't know how to connect with the, the world of the child. The teacher doesn't know everything about Minecraft. The child is the expert on Minecraft, so they can co-create. The, the teacher designs the learning experience and they say, maybe we want to look at the Normans. And we want to say, well, what did a Norman encampment look like? What did a Viking encampment look like? When you move away from the convention of the textbook, which often dictates how a topic should be taught, or is this the Minecraft education? It, you have the control to be as creative as you want, to set as creative and challenging um, projects or worlds or tasks for your children. The learning environment is really different. It's fun, it's engaging. But more importantly, we actually now have a means by which we can go deep. By using a game such as Minecraft, it means we're connecting home, school, inside world, outside world, so that the, the boundaries are blurred. And it means then that you have this excitement about going home and the kids are researching, oh, I, I need to find out about X or I need to find out about Y, because when I go into school tomorrow, I'm actually engaged in making this world. Every child learns differently. You have visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic learners. I think Minecraft education provides that opportunity because they're hands-on, heads-in. I think it's just the energy and the buzz it creates in a room. As soon as you say the word Minecraft, you get an automatic response. Kids are nearly jumping out of their seats before they even know what you want them to do. And I think as a teacher, that's a great energy to be able to work with. The kernel of Minecraft Education Edition is the most importantly, the children and learners are having fun. And that's what learning is supposed to be. But it's what Seymour Papard called hard fun. So you get that engagement, you have that challenge of actually engaging with it, but it's enjoyable.